Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review slash first impressions on a brand new product. When the year starts, I feel like brands start dropping makeup left and right and it is so hard to keep up. With that said, because I follow Trend Mood online, I did notice that Hourglass released a new product. Now, Hourglass is a brand that I don't ever talk about on my channel, and it's because it's really expensive, you guys, like very expensive, and a lot of their products, I feel like, don't really cater to women of color. I know that Hourglass has a lot of backlash right now because of this product. They just released their new Ambience Lighting Palette Volume 2. Trend Mood on Instagram actually posted the campaign pictures, and they do have a beautiful African-American woman in the picture holding this and a lot of people were saying that this wasn't dark enough for women of color and that hourglass has constantly kind of ignored including women of color so I bought it because I really wanted to review it and let you guys know if this is even worth it like is this actually going to show up on a tan skin is this not going to show up at all this product was really really expensive and I really hope this works out because it's beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. I've never tried anything like this. So it's really going to be an honest, true first experience, first impressions with you guys. With that said, we're going to jump right into this review because it's not going to be too long. So make sure you guys are sitting back, be relaxed, grab your cafecitos. Let me grab mine. I actually have, excuse me. I went grocery shopping, so I just grabbed me a coffee. So grab your cafecito, clink, cheers to you guys if you guys are drinking a coffee with me, and let's go ahead and get started. Mr. Lincoln is right here. He refuses to go to sleep, so he's just going to chill with mom. I really want to test this out and see what it's all about. So I've done a little bit of research to see what we can use this for and what they're specifically made for. I've already done my foundation, concealer, and set my concealer just to save time. And I haven't touched my skin other than that. So I think what we're going to do is just obviously play with all three of the shades. We have here the lightest shade and then a medium shade and then the deepest shade in the palette, which is supposed to be a bronze shade. Now, honestly, looking at this, I feel like this might work for me my skin tone but i don't see this working much for deeper complexion people i mean maybe this one would work as like a beautiful highlighter but if you use this to just set your skin like i don't see that working for anybody like a little bit deeper than me so let's let's find out okay shall we i'm gonna give you guys some swatches now from what i understand these are extremely extremely soft like you probably won't notice a big difference this is not meant to be caked up on your skin this is again just supposed to mimic natural lighting but let's do some swatches so let's go in with the first shade wow first impressions this is very creamy very buttery and yeah it's definitely very sheer so that is the first shade right there it is pretty. It does have like a vanilla, a little bit of a yellow undertone, like a cream color. The second shade is really pretty. I've never, I mean, I am sure I've swatched these before at Sephora, but I've never actually tried them on my skin. That is the second swatch. This one is a little bit more warm. It has a little bit of a peachy undertone, which I think will look really pretty on deeper skin tones and then the last shade i would guess would be the shade that you would use to bronze up the skin which is what i'm going to use it for as i'm swatching these i do notice that there's like a tiny bit of like like a sheen like a sparkle to them so there is the third shade so as you can see they're very light in color let's see how this is worth girl this was 65 dollars i was like all right, let's go in with the first shade. So I also was reading that you can actually mix all of the shades to set the skin. But what I want to do first is I want to go in with the lightest shade and lightly apply it like underneath the eyes and in the areas where I want to brighten up the skin. 
we're actually going to take a different brush. I'm going to take something like this that's a little bit more like fluffy and not so tapered. This one I want to use it maybe for the bronzer. We're going to see. Let's go in with the first shade. And I am going to apply this on the center of the forehead. Okay. Um, I don't think you can see it on camera, but from what I'm seeing in person, I can definitely see a little bit of a very, very natural glow. Like, I really just want to see what the hype is about these powders because they seem to be amazing. And honestly, like, I don't know, like, are they worth the money? Are they not? Apply it on the chin. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm going to go ahead and apply some more to the skin. I know these are not meant to be used to, like, actually set your makeup, like, baking, like how I normally do it, because that's not what they're for. I could honestly probably get away with this color, maybe mixing these two colors as a, like, setting powder to set the entire skin. So we're going to do that. We're going to move on to this fluffy brush. Excuse me, sir. We're going to take a mix of both of these. I'm just going to run it like this. And I'm just going to set the skin. So the skin is set. It definitely doesn't feel like over powdered, which I like that. But I'm also not seeing like a big difference on the skin. I want a very soft brush. So let's go in with a tart one since this is one that I use for bronzer. I'm only going to take the bronzing shade. I feel like this one is going to show up on my skin. The color is really pretty. It's like a bronzer that I would actually use. And I'm going to go ahead and warm up the skin. Okay, I can definitely see a difference. As you guys can see, it is definitely showing up on my skin. So this would work on me. And maybe if you're like a shade or two darker than me. So far, I really like this bronzer. You guys know how I feel about bronzers. I love, love, love bronzers. This is like one of my favorite parts from makeup. I just feel like bronzers just really give your skin that extra oomph. This has such a beautiful warmth and because it's not completely matte, it does make the skin look a little bit glowy. Not too much, but a little bit glowy. But what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take my highlighting brush. I'm gonna take my Beach Cosmetics brush. And obviously I'm gonna go with the light shade in the palette. So you know what, we're actually going to, mm, let's go with this one first and then maybe we can top it off. I'm gonna run my brush. And let's see if this could actually work as a highlight. Okay, I'm definitely seeing like some color payoff. I know this isn't going to be crazy pigmented because these are supposed to, again, just mimic the natural light. Very soft, very delicate on the skin. So if you love very soft makeup, barely there type of look. I feel like these palettes are going to be for you. I don't mind them because they're pretty, but I don't know that these are worth $65 in my opinion. Here's my makeup, a completely done lashes. Um, I didn't apply any blush just because I wanted the bronzer to kind of, just wanted to try it out. So. What are my thoughts? I know this was kind of a quick review, but honestly, I really wanted to focus my actual thoughts, opinions, whatever you want to call them, on the Hourglass Volume 2 palettes. For the price, unless you are a 
fan of Hourglass and you are a fan of the ambient palettes, palettes, I personally wouldn't buy this. Like, it's just, to me, it's not worth it. Like, the bronzer, yes, it's beautiful. It looks really pretty on the skin. I feel like my skin looks very soft, very dewy, but not for the price, like not for $65, especially because I only see myself reaching for just the bronzer itself. So that is that. So if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, I'm wearing the new Fenty Cream in the shade Honey Waffles, which is stunning. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you guys want to see more dedicated reviews to a single product, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know your opinions in the comment section and down below. As always, be respectful towards others' opinions and feelings. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.